Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas, and it's gonna be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering drawing. Well, today we're gonna be solving, we're gonna be drawing rather one more problem on isometric views. So here it is. Now, guys, this over here it represents the two views of an object. If you consider this to be the front view, this automatically qualifies as the left hand side view. Okay, let me explain you this. If you consider this to be the front view, from here, if you watch it. From the left hand side you'll have the left hand side view over to the right and if you consider this to be the front view and if you watch this from over here then you'll have this as the right hand side view which has been drawn towards the left of the front view so either way both of them are absolutely correct since this is first angle projection okay left hand side view towards the right and right hand side view towards the left that's the funda now as far as this particular problem is concerned i'm going to be assuming this as the front view and this as the left hand side view. Let me give you an orientation. This is the front view. Okay, you're going to see this from over here. That is from the front. This is the front. And you're going to see this stuff, this same view, when you view this object finally 3D from over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's make this. So the first thing that we immediately need to identify is the length and the breadth. This is the length that is 50, can be worked out from the front view. So this over here is re representing a length of 50 millimeters and that's the breadth which can be seen from the left from over here okay from over here how much is this this is 40 millimeters so this is 40 millimeters so, okay let me let me quickly finish off the page um, that's it and this copy done done so what's next we've made the base okay now this base is sort of sort of having a platform how much is this this is 15 millimeters so let me go ahead and provide it this height 15 millimeters let me travel upwards 15 let me copy this you can do this pretty easily with the help of a mini drafter 15 and 15 so all these four points have to be joined right like this i'm going to use the copy command you guys can go ahead and make use of a mini drafter or a, even a simple scale for doing so it's very easy very fundamental stuff okay so what's next okay so I'm gonna be making I'm gonna be making this profile and this is interesting how much is this and this is somewhere in the center this is 15 okay and this also has to be 15 so that 15 plus 20 is how much it's 35 and 35 plus 15 obviously is 50 millimeters and that's it that's the maximum length over here 50 so what I'll try to do is 15 and 15 let me make these lines very easy very basic okay done so this point over here guys this point is at a distance of 15 from this point same stuff and this point over here is at a distance of 15 from this point okay done what's next now some of you guys might be wondering why this line is hidden why this line has been made in a broken fashion now this is the left hand side view when we are viewing this object from over here there is an edge guys over here and over here which apparently is not visible from this side because this is something which appears as a line from from the front but it's not a line it's it's a, it's a surface plain surface here right and behind that surface something which appears a point over here it's not a point it's an edge okay so there is an edge right behind this plain rectangular surface which cannot be seen directly but has to be given some respect in the form of a hidden line okay we'll be we'll be working that out don't worry okay so that's done 15 millimeters and this has been made this has been made 15 left from the left 15 from the right 15 here we go from the left 15 and from the right 15 what's next okay so watch carefully this is how much this height is six millimeters okay so what you need to do is um let me make a line first and that would be better okay six millimeters above right let me make that same line over here also and let me join the top of these two lines okay so right now what i've done is 
I've made a line. Okay. Above this page line at a distance of how much? Six millimeters. Now somewhere along this line, this line in the orthographic projection is like this line, right? Now this distance is something that we need to work out. Now guys, uh, watch carefully. From here to here, it's 50. And in between, we have a distance of 30 millimeters. And this is 30. The remaining stuff, that is this stuff from here to here and from here till we reach here. That's going to be 20 because 30 plus this plus this should be equal to 50. So that's 20. This much plus this much is 20. And these two distances are same, absolutely same. So how much is this going to be? It's going to be 10. This is also going to be 10. So 10 plus 30 plus 10 is going to be equal to 50 millimeters. So from here, we need to travel 10. And same from here also, we need to travel 10. Let's go ahead and do this. 10. Right. Done. Now, <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is this point has to be joined with this point. Okay, let me show you exactly what needs to be done. These two points are to be joined. That's it. That's it. Same stuff has to be followed over to this side also. Let me show you exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Now let me get rid of this. Done. Let me get rid of this also. Done. What am I missing? What am I missing? Okay, I should be making this. Now let me chip off this. Chip off this. So that's pretty good. Okay, this profile is something um, whose isometric view has been made over here. Okay, that's done. Now what? As I told you, behind this point there is an edge. Behind this point there is an edge which cannot be seen from the front. But can be seen from the side in the form of this hidden line. Okay, so from the left hand side we can see this. From this left hand side we can see this edge. And this edge is how much long? 40 millimeters long. So let me tell you exactly what has to be done. So this is a 40 mm long line. You need to keep your mini drafters aligned along this line. Okay. Tighten the screw. Bring your draft drafter over here. Over here. And over here. Here. And here also you can take it. Although it's not going to be visible. The only portion which is really visible is this. That is the only portion which is visible. And let me go ahead and duck. Let me show you exactly what I'm trying to say is this. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. And none of the edges will be visible. They'll be hidden. Right, that's that's pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> so this profile has been successfully created. Um, what's next? So from the front, it appears as if we need to travel by a distance of five from the left and five from the right. This much space is vacant. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Five from the left and five from the right. So it's, it's going to be something of this sort. 5 from the left and let me copy this and 5 from the right okay let me show you what exactly needs to be done now something which appears as a point over here it's not a point it's a straight edge behind it's a straight edge behind this also so we are yet to go over there but right now I can make an edge behind this point okay behind this point and which can clearly be seen in the side view right let's go ahead and do that it's gonna be looking something precisely like this yeah pretty good <clears throat> so this has been made now we need to travel upwards by a distance of how much where is this where is this upwards by a distance of eight millimeters okay okay so it's gonna be looking something like this eight millimeters done done okay what's next you see this this line over here what's the length of this line that's 40 okay what's the length of this line that's 40 so from the front also it's 40 from the top also it's 40 so there are actually two lines one at the front one at the back there are actually two lines okay again when you look at this from the left um, this line appears initially, this edge appears initially and behind this edge there is also one more edge, right? So essentially what I'm trying to say is at this height, okay, at this height of 15 plus how much 8 
15 plus 8 is 22 you have a square 40 by 40 square and that square apparently looks like this let me do this properly okay done done now guys it would be better if we can work out which portion is visible and which portion is not visible let me use a dark color for this now this is going to be visible to us pretty good right what's next okay so we've got to go ahead travel upwards but there is this slant you see from the front also you can see this slant right and from the left hand side also you can see this slant so essentially again there is a square at the top how much 30 by 30 square right and that's pretty easy let me show you how that essentially can be made what what we're going to do is we're going to travel upwards by a distance of how much that is going to be 20 okay now let me let me use a light pencil for this 20 let me copy this you can do this very easily with the help of a drafter yeah pretty good done what i'll do is i'll copy this over here and that's it okay so we've reached the finale right now guys watch this carefully it appears as if we need to leave five millimeters from the left and five millimeters from the right in this figure also five millimeters from the left and five millimeters from the right in that way you have a square of 30 by 30 right or 30 millimeter square that has to be drawn at the top now let me let me go ahead and get rid of this so essentially what i'm trying to say is uh, please watch this carefully um, that's five let me do this again let me let me done what about this done okay so this essentially this point over here from here also it's five from here also it's five this point also from here it's five from from here it's five from here it's five right um here also let's let's carry out the same stuff same stuff done what we need to do is you need to join all these points with the help of this line and we are almost done so this essentially is a 30 by 30 square you can say okay now the final part is to darken and here we go Let me go ahead and darken this. 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 Okay. So that is essentially the portion which is going to be visible to us. And that's pretty much. Yeah, we've almost done. The, right? Everything has been done. Edges are clearly visible. This is a square of 30 by 30. This over here was a square of 40 by 40. Okay, so guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering graphics or engineering drawing, then do share and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a notification you get an update and do tell your friends also about this channel so that they can also benefit well guys i'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing